Hey guys, so here I am again. So I wanted to kind of give you guys a, a rundown. Um, I know I'm not really quote unquote popular on TikTok or nothing, but uh, on YouTube I've kind of explained some things that I've gone through and some kind of some of my backstory. I figured I'd give it to you guys here. Um, I'm not really popular on YouTube either. Nobody really likes me. I don't just because I can't post all the time. But anyway, so just a kind of little quick story rundown. So uh, my name's Andrew, if you haven't figured that out. Uh, I, have, I am an evangelist. I like preaching the gospel, but I also have to deal with the world, the world that we live in. You know, I've got to learn and grow and um, you got to learn how to, to be the proper man that I need to be in the earth today. Um, and to walk the straight and narrow, quote unquote, you know, I still have issues. Don't tell my wife. Um, anyway, so backstory. Um, I've been trying to, let me rephrase that. I do everywhere I go, I preach the gospel, but I've had to deal with work and I've had to deal with some other things and, um, I've had to deal with life. And, uh, so my, my story is that, um, you know, growing up, I grew up kind of in church. I ran from God for a little while. Um, I kind of always believed there was a God, but for about, I don't know, about six or seven years of my life, I just, you know what, screw him. He was a, he was a guy with a magnifying glass trying to kill me the ant, you know, and, um, Long story short, I went through that time period of my life and I realized, okay, well, God does really exist and um, I need to start living my life more for him and stop living it more for, for myself, which was hard because at the time I was married to a woman that really did not want to be a, a believer, did not want to live a godly life at all. And uh, so every time I tried to make a step, forward towards God she was grabbing me pulling me back and that's another story I won't get into right now but I say all that to go back to I um I've stayed out of the quote-unquote system pretty much my entire life as best as I possibly could um you know the government system because there's obvious flaws with it and um you know that's another headache entirely that I won't get into in this video but I've, um, I've never really been in debt. I've never really been um, into all of that, you know, stupid stuff that the world's into, like, you know, making porn to make money and just making stupid videos. I've thought about it a lot because <laughs> it does make a lot of money. Um, I could say a lot of things about a lot of people. But anyway, I say that to go back to. So... My journey has brought me up to a place to where I felt like the Lord was calling me into learning flat earth and, um, and some other things. A lot of people are going to call me crazy, but I don't care. I went through that journey. I went through that, that walk of my life, and um, it didn't really lead to a whole lot of places. But at the other side of it, um, I got to learn a lot through that. I learned that the earth is really actually flat. Um, I have videos on YouTube. If you're interested, you can look up Breaking the System. Um, my, my channel is Breaking the System, but it's, I think it's labeled Breaking the System 2. Um, I'll have to get the link. I'll put it in the description for you guys. But anyway, um, I went through and I've, I, I really studied up on that. I, I, I watched a lot of people on that. Um, there's some some really good people that really know what they're doing in that area. So I kind of left that to them. But I also go and showing, you know, some of the video editing stuff that I was doing at the time. I'm not doing that anymore. But some website building and just, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a jack of all trades. And um, I ended up settling in um, wanting to do homesteading, farming, slash handyman stuff. Um, I stopped posting on YouTube a whole lot because I've just, like I said, life, it's been rough. It's been fun. Um, <clears throat> but on one of my YouTube videos, 
I was showing how I was working with a guy at a time. I owned a trailer at the time that my wife and I lived in, my current wife and I lived in. And uh, it was nice while it lasted. But, you know, as as things come and go in life, I had to move on from that. And um, I ended up winding up here where I'm at now. And uh, as of right now, this is this is it, man. This is I know this is this was the end goal. Um, I've been on the, the journey to end up here for a long time. Um, it's sad how I got here because, you know, my uncle had to pass away and some other situations has happened that I will kind of walk you guys through as time progresses. But I kind of wanted to show you guys around a little bit um, to kind of give you guys something to quote unquote look forward to. Don't judge me. It's not perfect. I'm not going to lie. It's a work in progress, but it's practically free. And, um, and I'm thankful for that. You know, it's, it's a huge blessing. I'm not saying that you guys are going to be able to get everything for free or you guys can't get anything for free. But the point of this video is to kind of show you what I've got, what I've got going on right now for my wife and I, but it's also to explain that when you, when you find God, and you truly, truly find God, not not the man in your head or the woman in your head, but God, the real Yahovah, behold the hand, behold the nail. Jesus Christ came in the flesh. The Spirit sent him. The Spirit of God sent him. Um, he'll guide you through some really treacherous times to bring you to the promised land, you know, uh, Moses, he had to go through it. Abraham had to go through it. Um, Isaac, Jacob, Esau, I mean, they all went through it, man. They all went through it. And, um, and I know the promised land for me starting out is, is going to be fun. And, um, it has already been fun. I've been here for about six months, but I've been working day in and day out and I haven't been able to get on TikTok, YouTube. I mean, I have just been swamped. But anyway, so I'm just going to kind of give you guys a quick show uh show you around just real quick. I know I've been kind of walking around my property, but um I'm going to actually put it in video so you guys will be able to see it. Um and then I'll 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 kind of talk while I'm showing you, but yeah, so it's not much. It's kind of messy. It's a lot to look at. There's definitely a lot going on. Um, most of it, pretty much all of it, was already here. Um, there's my wife laying down on the trampoline. Uh, my kids playing with caution tape on the hill. My kids aren't here right now. So, um, so this is about a 360 degree. There's the house again. So... So anyway, so the um, the concept is, you know, it's a lot. There's there's a lot to work on. There's a lot to do. I've already had to rebuild a shower in here. If my wife would ever get the videos going on that or the pictures going on that, maybe I can show you guys that. She's uh, she's a little slow, if if I might say, but she's she's flipping me off right now. Don't tell anybody. But anyway, I say that to go back to. Um, God's got your promised land waiting for you. You know, I don't know where you're at. I don't know what you're going through. But I tell you, stick with God and he's going to figure out a way to get it to you. It's not about it's not about what you want, though. You got to you got to make sure that you're, you know, God. the Bible says God will give you the desires of your heart when we we give him our lives and we put our lives in his hands. When we give him our lives and we put our lives in his hands for his will, then he'll give the give us the desire desires of our hearts it's not like i'm driving a brand new truck it's not like i i'm just a millionaire or nothing but at the same time i'm wealthy and i'm i'm my bills are paid my bills are going to continue to be paid unless i blow up tomorrow for whatever reason which could possibly happen but um you know i firmly believe that god's going to just continue to open the doors for opportunities to continue to get wealth and to continue this this walk with him because that's really what it's about god wants a relationship god wants us to grow in our faith from faith to faith like apostle paul says so that when when 
we're going through trials and tribulations in the earth. We know that we know that we know God is there every step of the way. And when things seem rough, you know, I tell you, man, if you watch my first, uh, uh, my other video, um, life gets rough. It's not easy. And I'm not going to say it is easy, but I tell you what, we're overcomers in Christ Jesus. And, and this is a step, you know, I've got some chickens. I don't know if you saw the chickens in the video. Uh, let me see if I can get them zoomed in there. No, I can't. I can't zoom in on my, I can't zoom in on my front camera. But anyway, I mean, you know, it's a start. It's a start to something more than, I mean, you know, I, I know the Lord showed me this years ago, but, but it had to start somewhere and this is it. So just want to put this out there. Just want to give people hope, man, in today's world. I mean, there's a lot of people that they're, they're making it rich, but then you got way, way, way more people that are just going downhill and, and, and hitting rock bottoms worse than they've ever hit before. And I'm telling you, I've been at the rock bottom. I mean, I've, I've, I've went to jail because of some crooked liars. I've, 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 I mean, I've went through it, but you can't give up. You got to keep, you got to keep that relationship strong with the father. You got to keep your, your spirit high and you got to know that God's going to bring you through it. Um, and just remember to not give up in your day to day. You know, it's, it's, again, I can't say it enough. It's about the relationship with the father. God wants us to have relationship and it's not always, you know, it's not always us just talking to him. Sometimes you should shut up and just listen. Um, that's something I've had to learn over the last few years is just listen. You know, when you really, you know, the purest form of prayer is just to, okay, Lord, you know what's going on. I'm going to give it to you and I'm going to believe and trust and then just shut up and just listen. Um, I've learned over the years, especially the last few years, that's the best place to be is just in your quiet place where you can just hear the Lord. You know, read your word, every, read the word every day, the Bible. You know, I stick with the King James Version. But look, man, read a Bible. Read a, read a Bible. Um, I, like I said, I prefer the King James Version because it's been less doctored over the years. But um, have the relationship with God that you need today. So three or four years from now... Um, the promises will come, you know, and uh, because if you don't have a relationship with God today or tomorrow, then the promise will never come. And it's about building our faith, faith to faith. You know, it's about building that relationship with him to where when the big storms come, we automatically know, hey, my life is in his hands. He's going to care about me just as much as he does a sparrow or just as much as he does dogs, you know. He really does care. He really does love you. And he wants what's best for you. That's what fathers do. So just kind of wanted to put that out there. Um, you guys will definitely be seeing a lot more videos. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be blowing up YouTube and TikTok. Like I said, I'm going to put my YouTube, descri uh, um, my YouTube channel in the description. So if you guys are interested in some of the things I've went through over the years, there's a lot more to come. Like I said, I've been really busy this last few, well, this, I've been busy, busy, <laughs> but I've had to change courses and uh, I'm going to stick to it this time and I will, I'll see you guys around.